Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ryan Cranston. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I wanna say a happy new year to everyone watching. If you are returning, mad respect for you. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And who knows, even the notification button if you feel like it. Uh, so, we're starting the new year with a new video. It's actually referencing an old video from 2018 where I did a 30 minute photo challenge in the city center of my hometown. Uh, I've shown you the videos there on the video as I was walking around, I had a GoPro on my backpack. Just taking the video, uh, taking the pictures, walking around, showing you what was going through my head, talking you through it, going through the different spots. So I've posted a few of those photos onto my Instagram. Uh, which I'll put, I guess, maybe here. And today I just wanted to show you basically how I went about editing those photos. Now, I do have Lightroom on my laptop, but for these particular photos, and actually for probably about 90% of the photos I'm now posting on my Instagram, I choose to edit my photos on my iPhone. Uh, the app that I use is Lightroom for uh, iPhone. Of course, you need a subscription the same way you do if you use any Adobe products on your laptop. You basically link your account on your phone and you're able to then use that account with all the, uh, all the options and settings available to you. Uh, I can't remember if there is a free version with limited options of Lightroom there may well possibly be. So even if you don't have full Adobe uh, subscription on your laptop, this might be a great option for you if you're starting out and you want to get into that. Uh, find your style and start playing with different edits without having to invest a ton of money. So I have one of the photos here on my phone. Uh, I'll try and put it up on the screen somewhere. So this is actually one of my, I think, most popular pictures on my Instagram. Um, if you watch the video, I talk about how I came across this scene and how I thought it was quite cool. Uh, I really like the lighting on the right side of the picture. You have this, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's like an advert, advert or maybe it's a, a window to a shop uh, anyway yeah the floor area looks really cool there's a bit of water on the ground which adds some nice reflection from the lights on the ceiling uh, even though it's under cover so that's that's quite a nice uh, little touch so normally when I post photos to my Instagram I post them in the portrait mode just because it takes up the maximum amount of space on your on the phone when people are viewing it so I always ah, sorry about that uh, somebody knocked on the door I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I pressed that record button someone was gonna knock on the door anyway back to the video back to the editing so as I was saying I edit in portrait because I post in portrait on Instagram the size that Instagram uses is this four by five and then just, I'm just gonna get it to turn that off. And then just wanna move it to how I want it. I'm gonna shape, do it so that I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, I don't really like the top there. I think it needs to be thingy a little. just use the top line there as a reference. Okay. So. Where do I want to put it? I 
I'm thinking about that. So, that is then cropped for me. I'm then gonna go over to the light, uh, bump up the exposure a little bit. The, the light in the picture I don't want it to take too much of the attention because obviously the subject in the middle which is me is the main attention uh, and basically you just want to go through sliding the sliders up and down see how it feels because every picture is basically you want to start new on every picture because every picture has its own its own style. I always like to do this. Make the blacks a little flatter. Go into the curve. a little bit just because the lights are so yellow uh, and it should feel more like a, a cooler picture than it should a warmer picture just because of obviously the water and everything on the ground uh, bring up the vibrance a little bit Tint. bring down the saturation to around yeah, I like that. Okay. For the effects. So I like to bump up the clarity. Where do I want to go with this? Because of the war on the ground, the clarity looks really nice here. Yeah. Uh, I do like to add a vignette, but I think I'm going to wait just a tiny bit before I do that. So just zoom into the picture, sharpening, see how it affects the image. There's way too much. So it kind of adds almost the right amount. I think I'm just gonna let's put it to around 60. Uh, the masking will decide how much of the image is going to be sharpened. Yeah. A little bit of noise reduction just to smooth out a little bit. That's too much. A little bit more than that. Yeah, I think I like that around there. that all the way down so that's it there I'm just gonna go back and now play again with the color um, I think I want to bring back some of the light on this side of the image so maybe take the shadows down a little bit black. Yeah, that's better. So then scroll all the way to the left and then we're going to go and hit selective. So this is basically where you can add your gradients. So we're going to click here and as I said I want to add a bit more color to that side of the screen from that light and just make it look like that light is really adding some warmth from behind me. So temperature a little bit so 
saturation. Yeah, a little bit of saturation from that light. Okay, yeah, like that. Uh, do we want to add that? Mm, maybe a little bit extra exposure for that light. Boom. Okay, liking where that's looking. I'm gonna go back into select. And then I'm gonna yeah, zoom in. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more to myself, just to make myself pop. Uh, click on here, and here you can add the feather. You see if you drag it down, there's zero feather, so it's basically like hard-lined. If you drag it all the way to the top, it adds 100% feather. So just gonna make a smaller selection myself to the light. So just bump up the exposure. Yeah, like that. Uh, and just a little bit, it's a bit yellow, I think. My skin looks a bit, i bring that down. In temperature to 20. Mm, liking that. So, AK okay on that. And then maybe, although there's no blue light from here, but there is that uh, blue sign. So, let me see what a gradient looks like from this side that is a tiny bit cooler. So, I'm going to drag it over there and then pull that back to there. Uh, color and just make that a little bit cooler that side okay pull that. I'm gonna pull that over a little bit okay yeah liking how that looks. Uh, I am this, I've, as I said, I've already posted the video, uh, the pictures to Instagram, so I'm re-editing it. I'm trying to remember exactly how I edited it, so this is gonna be a little bit different to the one you see on my Instagram. Uh, there goes someone at the door again. Uh, where do we wanna go? I'm not gonna mess with the color too much because well, I'm colorblind, so I'm not the best of colors. I really need to sit down and take my time and look at the colors. Uh, this is gonna make the video way too long. I just wanna make this quite kind of short for you guys. So, but if you did wanna go into the colors, you've got your reds, your, I think that's orange, yellows, greens, uh, aqua, and then it goes into the blues along here. Uh, like I said, mm, let me try and take out just a little bit of yellow. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. So, there you go. There is a lot of options on this, guys. Uh, honestly, I feel like editing on the phone in Lightroom is just as good as editing on the laptop. It's got pretty much everything you can want. Sorry. Uh, I can even go into healing. You see these objects down here. If I wanted to get rid of these, I could uh, just draw there. Uh, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Feather. Capacity 100. Just try that again. You see, you can play around and kind of line that up and make that disappear. For Instagram, that's gonna be pretty much good enough. But if you wanted to, you could then, if you have an iPhone and a MacBook, you could just airdrop this onto your MacBook and tidy up those little bits in Photoshop or Lightroom if you wanted to do that. I think I left them in there when I edited mine to go on Instagram. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It's super easy, super simple. 
if you're already paying for Lightroom and you find yourself not editing pictures because I know you have a desktop and you don't want to be going up and disappearing off into a room or whatever to edit your photos or you're on the move and you only have a desktop this is a great option if you don't have a laptop you can just bang your photos onto Lightroom on your iPhone and that's pretty much it and then you can save camera maximum available and Boom, we are done. That can go straight into Instagram. Bang on your hashtags and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was helpful. This wasn't a in super in-depth video about how to edit a photo on Lightroom. It was just basically showing you the basics and I just wanted to sort of give you an idea of how I edited my photos, especially those from the photo challenge I did, like I said, last year. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button. It's really gonna help. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.